this is this is crazy. Like the, none of this was planned or supposed to happen when I came here to New York, and <laughs> now it's all going out of control. Hit it. So I have been working with this company called Soulguard. That one right there. They make that suitcase. It's awesome. You should get one. And uh, it turns out that the guy that runs it, Adrian Soulguard, his girlfriend works on the Star Talk podcast, which is Neil deGrasse Tyson's podcast. And they've invited me to go on the show, which is crazy. And then we're gonna before right before the the show, like this one. That, that show, right there. And before the show, we're gonna fly city whoops and tiny whoops in, not quite in the Hayden Planetarium, which is, you know, where Neil deGrasse is opposite. Like, I, what? Like, I don't know what's going on right now. This is, this is crazy. Like, the, none of this was planned or supposed to happen when I came here to New York. And <laughs> now it's all going out of control, so I'm like, frantically like, charging up all my stuff. We've got drones out, I've got all my batteries getting charged up, I got four 1S's for Tiny Whoop, everything. <clears throat> like, just, to be honest, like, I'm a little intimidated, like, I really want this to go well, like, like anything, you know, you want things to be successful, and I think that it's gonna be nice and low-key and chill, and it's gonna turn out fine, but, oh boy, right now am I just like, what's going on? So, I gotta just... Relax a little bit, calm down, steer into it, we'll have a good time. Hey, cool cutting board. take shot at the Hayden Planetarium uh, with special guest star. <laughs> Me, I guess, but Neil deGrasse Tyson. I'm going to start with a drone here, point it out into the planetarium. We can't quite go out there today because it's busy. Uh, but I'm going to have it take off backwards, pull away from the window, fly down the hallway to the come past yeah. Neil's office. We're going to see his name and his plate. But we're going to leave the office alone for a second and scoot back on down. <clears throat> We're gonna come under the telescope, up and over, to look at Mr. Copernicus. We'll be over here, so hopefully kind of coming under the telescope and looking this way, we we'll forget ourselves there. These are all vectors. Give it a quick orbit around the side. And generally your vector has a better more equation that Neil's working on on the board. You would do it that way. But since we do have hours here, and then head down this hallway, which we can look back out into the planetarium and then um, there's also someone sitting in the office down there that's going to give us a quick wave at the drone when we go by. So and we're going to come all the way back and then Neil's going to capture us in a black hole, which is a little sack that he's got there that's going to do that. So it's going to be perfect. It's going to be fun. So this is a good uh, drone can come in and just analyze it. That'd Absolutely. Yeah. 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 So like once you add more surface area that the motors have to spin, you start to drop efficiency pretty quickly. Yeah. Um, at, but you have more control. You don't need to know speed when you're racing. Each one is described. 
Right. You do. No, I don't. I don't you really care speed. what the speed is, as long as I'm going just faster than everybody else. Because you, you <laughs> play roles. I mean, I'm guessing it's an intuitive. So it's nice yes. It, it's it's all based like because you your only speed comes from how far you're tilting over, right? Yeah, so like, yeah, yeah, yeah. if I can't see the horizon, I'm probably going a little too fast. Then again, in camera oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's the Goldilocks zone. Yes. Too yeah, high, exactly. too low. Yeah. You, you're not going to get where you need to We're the, the camera. The yep. So I'm just yeah. saying, what, what will you get through there apart from the visual aspect of this thing's going there? The only thing that I really care about when I'm racing is what my battery voltage is. So it runs. Yeah. A, I run a six cell battery. I want to know is it within the tolerable range? Is it starting to get low? Do I need to back off a little bit so that it can kind of recover a little bit? Yeah. So like if you look in there, all you really will see is the. Yeah, I've got this the. Oh, okay. I've okay. got a different set now. Whoa. Yeah, that's clear. Shit, that's clear. And it's real time too, so there's no delay. That's the biggest uh, no. hindrance of performance when you're racing, right? Is you want it to be as fast as possible so that, you know, when you're making really, really good Okay, trips. so the picture is slightly different from what I get through my eyes. Yes. But. It's pretty. pretty once you, once right? you accommodated the fact that that's going to be the way it is. Yeah. You're locked and loaded mentally. Yeah. That's amazing. Thank yeah. you. All right. So you've now got to, you're working in a three dimension. Yes. You're not racing against the clock. You're racing against your opponents. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't matter how far you, fast you go. Mm -hmm. If, if there's no one <laughs> if they've all trashed themselves. Yes. So there's a lot. And the strategy, uh, as you would get in any, then I, I looked at it and the start seems, I mean, get into this when we Yeah, interview. yeah. No worries. The start seems to be vital. Yeah, yeah, because it's, it's mental, right? Yeah. If you get, if you're exactly. behind people, it's like you, yeah. you, now you have this this urge to pass them. Right? Then, then it becomes a psychological part of any race. Yes. Are you better as the leader? Are you better as the chaser? Yeah. Are you complete? If I'm if I'm chasing, I don't want to know. Yeah. I'm sulking. Yeah. I care. You know, you, yeah. the people you will have come across oh, yeah. in racing. Yeah. So it's, it's just the whole, yeah, I love that. Like, I, yeah. I prefer to be a chaser because I want to yeah. be right with them. I want them to have that, mm -hmm. that confidence, you know, and then I'll just get them in the last couple seconds of the race. Just whoop. See, the thing is, if you've got someone in the lead who's as solid mentally yes. as you, yeah. that becomes a different thing. Yeah. Because well, the, the strategy isn't about getting away as much as blocking. Yes. And well, like one, one of one of my biggest competitors, his name is Gabrielle. Yeah. He's a, a doctor of material physics, and nothing bothers him. Like he's he's just a, he's a robot. He's a machine. He just like oh, I will win now. And like and so if he gets in front, he, yeah, it's over because he just he knows how to fly that line. But if you can get in front of him, mm -hmm. you kind of just mess with him a little bit, all goes up. See, now I'm thinking play dirty. Potentially, <laughs> yeah. I play a little dirty. <laughs> Here's a photo with my mom right here for me to see. <laughs> Start. They're all away. They're on the western run and fan over the pleasure oh! who took himself out. That is right smart. Here. I got to give it to you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just thinking, I go laterally at the start. Yeah. <laughs> if I'm running away. Here's, here's what I say, though. Like if, if you are good enough to hit someone else out of the air and yeah. stay flying yourself, mm -hmm. you're good enough to just win the race. Okay. So it's... Uh, so bother. Yeah, exactly. Oh, that's cool. We're gonna fly through tier two. I forgot that other tour. All the way back. Yeah. Got it. All right. Where am I sitting? Right in the chair. Mm -hmm. And what's gonna happen here? Okay. So um, we're just gonna sit behind the rest of the flight and talk about it, right? Okay. Yeah. So we're gonna do essentially just a practice run, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and uh, let you be able to see what the drone sees before we have you be in your office for the next thing. Got it. We could be Got sitting. It. So do you see yourself now? Yeah. So you. <laughs> You are seeing exactly what the drone sees in real time. Okay. And uh, so as we're flying around, you will, uh, it, it, it's going to be this real time representation. So here, if you want to have a little bit of a weird experience, you can hold it. There you go. Put it in front of me so I can see it. Well, you're seeing it. So oh, I am it. You okay, are, I am Yeah, it. there you go. <laughs> so okay. now you can just point it around as if, you know. Pretty crazy, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Very interesting. So this is the elevator. Down the hallway. 
Was I muted? Oh no. There it is. Uh, <laughs> got it. Yeah, it's got good. Um, it's got good brightness. So the most important thing for us when we're flying it is low latency, right? So what is your latency? It's uh, it should actually say no, actually it might not say on yours, um, but it should be in the twenty milliseconds range, twenty five milliseconds. Okay. Um, but we even will make it lower for racing. So if right. I can, I'm gonna grab, grab that from you. We're gonna set it down. And it's loud and it sounds really uh, ominous, but don't worry. <laughs> we are in. Lindsay control. standing over there. That's Lindsay. Yep. Okay. Are you ready to take off? So. We're all on go for it, guys. Because I'm not controlling anything, correct? No. Yeah. Oh, you're just, you're I'm, just, you're I'm just a passenger for the ride. Yeah. You're, okay. All right. You ready? Yeah. Here we go. Very cool. Really cool. So the whole flight that I want to do is I want to start. That's down. cool enough. We don't yep. need to do any more. <laughs> I want to start down here, looking out uh -huh. into the planetarium, and then we'll fly into the conference room. Whoa. And uh, we'll go look at this equation, which is? All right. Fourth order run to cut it. Good. Yep. Uh -huh. Have a peek at uh, Albert in the Nets. Albert Einstein. Very nice. Back over Wait, here. wait, wait. wait. You can't ignore Galileo. Sorry. Okay. There's Galileo. Okay. And now back up. Claudius Ptolemy. Yeah. Think we're blowing some dust off the shelves. Let's <laughs> do a little cleaning while we're at it. Yeah. And there we have Both of these. images of Mars. And then I'm going to orbit this little uh, telescope on the desk. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. And I'll fly back out in the hall. Uh huh. And then. Uh, come to my office? Your nameplate. I'm going to skip your office for now. Okay. And then we'll come back to it at the end. And then come down under the telescope. There we are. sort of confront it a little bit, you know? Yeah, do a little. Make the, cho make the choice to capture it, yeah. and then, all right, yeah. cool. Um, just stand up real quick, I just yeah. wanna see how, all right, cool, okay. All right, let's go. All right, yeah. here we go. And this is very legible.
sleep and so it's just like and then and I'm like and then I realized like I'm trying to go to sleep this ain't the best thing to be watching like, this thing is totally hyping me up this is Star Talk I'm Neil deGrasse Tyson your personal astrophysicist as host it is a sports edition of Star Talk where we are going to talk about drone racing Ooh.